Namaste friends. Welcome back to my channel. Friends, in today's video, we would be making these cute little earrings that I have named as Octave Earring. Here, you can see that I have made these earrings in blue color with this cream color boundary and they have turned out to be so pretty. And I have made one more color. This one is in amethyst this one is an amethyst color with these golden beads these are the two colors that i have made in this uh, earring and in today's video we would be making this earring in orange color so let us see what all material do we need to make this earring for making our octave earring in orange color we would need these super duo beads here I am using them in white apricot color. Then I will be using these pearls in cream color. These are 3 mm in size and this one is in 6 mm in size. Then I will be using these 2 by 3 mm rondelles again in cream color. 4 mm bicons. These are Swarovski bicons in fire opal color. Then these 11 O's. These are Muki. Metallic brown iris 11 O's and here I am using these 15 O's. These are Muki Duracoat Galvanized Champagne 15 O's. We will need ear wires. So here I have these ear wires as they are very easy to put into our earrings. I will be working with Sono thread and size 12 beading needle. So let's get started. We would start making our octave earring by picking up 4 super duos so here i have picked up these four super duos and now i will bring them down towards the end of my thread like this and now i'll be tying a double knot So here it is and now I'll be passing through all these four super tools gently pulling in this tail in between the beads Like this at the holding it at the back now I will pick up one 11 brown metallic brown iris and pass through this next super duo again I'll pick up one 11 metallic brown iris and pass through this next super tool again one eleven o and here my last eleven o now our earring would look like this and now I will step up into this first eleven o that I added and into the super duo and now we can cut this tail off now after exiting through this super duo I will pick up two 15 o champagne one 3 mm pearl and two 15 o champagne so here I have picked up these five beads 215 o champagne, 13 mm pearl, and 215 o champagne. And here I'll be passing through the same super duo. Like this. 
adding these beads over this super duo stepping up into the first two fifteenos like this and pass through this 3mm pearl like this now after exiting through this 3mm pearl I will pick up two 15 or champagne and now you can see that I added these beads over this super duo and now I will be passing through the bottom hole of this opposite super duo like this Again, I will pick up two 15 or champagne and pass through this 3 mm pearl. Now, after adding these beads, this is the look of our earring. And now I will go down through these two 15 o's into this 11 o. Again, I'll go up through the same pair of 15 O's. Now again, I will pick up two 15 O champagne and go down through this pair of 15 O champagne. Into this 11 O underneath go up through the same pair of 15 o's again i will pick up two 15 o champagne and pass through the next pair of 15 o champagne going down through this into this 11 o going up through these two 15 o's so here you can see that I have added this pair of 15 o's on the top here and the same way I'll be adding this pair of 15 o over this and this super two here I'm adding my last pair that is the fourth one and here after going down through these two 15 o's I will pass through this 11 o underneath and now this is the look from the top of our earring and now after exiting through this 11 o we are not going upward now we would be picking up two 15 o champagne again and pass through the top hole of the next super two like this again i will pick up two 15 o champagne and pass through this 11 o like this again i am picking up two 15 o champagne and pass through the top hole of the next super duo Again, I'm picking up two 15 o champagne and pass through this 11 o. And same way, I'll be adding this pair of 15 o all through this round. Now, here I'm adding my last pair of 15 o's. And this is the look of our earring after adding these 15 o's. And now I will step up into the first pair of 15 o's into the super duo and this first 15 o. 
Now I will pick up 1 15 o champagne, 1 3 mm pearl and 1 15 o champagne. So here I have picked up the set of these three beads, 1 15 o champagne, 1 3 mm pearl and 1 15 o champagne. And now I will be passing through this 15 o, this super duo and the next 15 o. Here you can see that I am passing through these three beads like this. Again I am picking up 1 15 o, 1 3 mm pearl and 1 15 o, the set of same three beads and I will be passing through this 15 o, super duo and the next 15 o, these three beads. Like this and this way I'll be adding these sets of beads to both these sides. Now after adding these pearls this is the look of our earring and here after adding this last set Right now I am exiting through this 15 o champagne as you can see and now I will step up into this 15 o and the next this 15 o and this 3 mm pearl. Now after exiting through this 3 mm pearl I will pick up one 11 o metallic brown iris. 1 super duo, 1 15 o champagne, 1 super duo and 1 11 o metallic brown iris. So here I have picked up these 5 beads, 1 11 o super duo, 1 15 o super duo and 1 11 o. And now I will pass through this pearl. Now I will pick up 1 4 mm bicon. 11 o and 1 4 mm bicon. These three beads 1 4 mm bicon, 1 11 o and 1 4 mm bicon. And pass through this next pearl. Now again, I'll pick up 1 11 o, 1 super duo, 1 15 o champagne. 1 super duo and 1 11 o. Again the set of 5 beads 11 o, super duo, 15 o, super duo and 11 o. And pass through this next 3 mm pearl and now 1 4 mm bicon 11 o and 1 4 mm bicon. So these three beads and I will pass through this 3 mm pearl like this. So after adding these beads, this is the look of our earring and now I will step up into this 11 o. Now I will pick up two 15 o champagne and pass through the top hole of this super duo. Now I will pick up one 3 mm pearl and pass through this super duo. Again I will pick up two 15 o champagne, pass through this 11 o. Now I will pick up one round tail, one 15 o champagne and one round tail. So here I have picked up these three beads, one 2 by 3 mm round tail, one 15 o champagne and one 2 by 3 mm round tail and I will pass through this 4 mm bicon in the next 
eleven like this now into the bicycle again i'll pick up one round tail 115 or champagne and one round tail these three beads and pass through this 11 o now i will pick up two 15 o champagne and pass through the top hole of the super duo pick up one 3 mm pearl and pass through the top hole of the next super duo now i'll pick up 215 or champagne down through this 11 o Again, the set of rondelle, one rondelle, one fifteen or champagne, and one rondelle into the bicycle and the eleven o. Into the next bicycle. Again, one rondelle, one fifteen o, and one rondelle. into the 11 o like this so this is the look after adding these beads now after exiting through this 11 o i will pass through this bottom hole of super duo into this 15 o champagne like this now I will pick up four fifteen or champagne and here you can see these two fifteen or champagne in between these two fifteen o's and I will be going up through this fifteen o like this into the next two fifteen o's down through this first this first fifteen o and now I will pick up five fifteen o champagne and pass through this eleven o brown iris going down through this first 15 o champagne here you can see now again i will pick up four 15 o champagne and i will go up through this first one you see here I'm going up through this 15 o champagne like this very gently we have to do this step into the next two 15 o's down through this 15 o Pick up four fifteen o champagne into this fifteen o in the middle of the super duos now here i am going to pick up four fifteen o's 
and now I will be going up through this 15 of champagne like this into the next 215 or champagne now after exiting through these 215 o's I will go down through this 15 or champagne and pick up 5 15 or champagne And now I will pass through this 11 o like this. Going down through this first 15 o champagne. Again, I will pick up four. 15 o's and move up through this 15 o champagne here in between the pair of these two 15 o's like this again go through this pair of 15 o's down through this 15 o Pick up four, fifteen or champagne, and now I will pass through this fifteen or in between the super tours. So here. After adding this, after adding these 15 nodes on the top, this is the look of our earring. And now, after exiting through this 15 nodes champagne, I will pass through this super duo and into the next 11 nodes. Now, I will pass through this round tail and into the next 15 o into the next round tail pick up 4 15 o champagne and pass through this next 11 o like this again I'll pick up 4 15 o champagne and now I will pass through this round tail into the next 15 o like this into the round tail into this 11 o up through these two 15 o's now pick up three 15 o champagne and pass through this 3 mm pearl now Again, I will pick up 315 o' champagne and pass through these two 15 o's like this into this 11 o' this round tail 15 o' and the round tail. Now I'll be picking up 
the set of 4 15 or champagne and pass through this 11 o in between the bikers again i will pick up 4 15 o champagne and pass through this round tail into this 15 o into this round tail into this 11 o up through these two 15 o's again 3 15 o champagne into this pearl again 3 15 o champagne down through these two 15 o champagne into the 11 o this round tail and the 15 o again into the round tail So, after adding these 15 o's on the outer edge, this is the look of our earring. And now, I will step up into the first two 15 o champagne here. Pick up one 15 o champagne and pass through these two 15 o champagne. Creating a corner like this into this 11 o. into the next two 15 o's pick up one 15 o champagne down through the next pair into round tail and the 15 o into the round tail and now after exiting through this round tail, I am not passing through the 11 o, I will be passing straight through these 3 15 o champagne. Like this. Now pick up 1 15 o champagne. Here, after exiting through 1, 2, 3 15 o's, I am picking up 1 15 o champagne and pass through these 2. 15 o champagne now pick up 2 15 o champagne and pass through these first 2 15 o champagne after exiting through these 2 15 o's pick up 1 15 o champagne now i will go down through these 3 15 o champagne and now I will pass straight through this round tail. I am not passing through the 11 o. I will pass straight through the round tail into 15 o. And the next round tail. Into first 2 15 o champagne. Again pick up 1 15 o champagne. Pass through the next two 15 o champagne into this 11 o up through the first two 15 o champagne pick up one 15 o champagne and pass through this next pair of 15 o champagne into the round tail and this next 15 o into the next round tail and straight through these three 15 o champagne skipping the 11 o 
I am passing straight through this 315 of champagne. Now pick up 115 of champagne. Pass through this pair of 15 o's. Pick up 215 of champagne. And pass through this pair of 15 o's. 115 of champagne. Go down through these three fifteen of champagne straight through this rondin and the fifteen o. So this is the look of our earring now and now. I will pass through this rondin into the bicon into this eleven o into the next bicon. into the round tail and 15 o into the round tail up through the 15 o's into these two fifteen o's into these two fifteen o's now we would be adding our purse as a drop for our earring so for this I will pick up two fifteen o champagne one four mm bacon one fifteen o champagne and one six mm pearl and 150 o champagne so here is the set of beads 250 o 14mm bicon 150 o one pearl and 150 o champagne bring them down and skipping this 15 o here i will go up through this pearl into this 15 o and the bacon don't make this too tight and now after exiting through this bacon I'm picking up 215 o champagne and again I'll be passing through this pair of 15 o that I added in the last round like this into these 15 o's like this so here we have added the drop and now we will move through these three 15 o's into the round tail and 15 o again into the round tail and then into the bacon and the next 11 o into the bacon into this round tail and the 15 o into this round tail up through these 15 o's And now we have reached the top of our earring and here we are going to add the loop for our ear wire 
so i will pass through these 250 nodes that i added on the top in my last round and now i will pick up five 15 or champagne and pass through this pair of 15 o's once again I will pass through all these beads just to strengthen my loop to the beads and tying the knot here here you can see that I'm tying a knot in between these beads again I will go up through these 15 o's into these 15 o's and here again I'll be tying a knot like this into these two 15 o's into these 15 o's and down through these and now we can cut a thread so here we have our earring we have completed our octave earring and now we would be putting in our ear wire here I'm using this ear wire for my earring and here so this is our earring here we have completed our octave earring so friends, here we have completed our octave earring in orange color. You can see how it has turned out. They look so beautiful. And this is my third color that I have made these earrings in. And this is the blue color that I had shown you at the beginning of my video. And this is an amethyst color. So you can see how beautiful they look. I hope you would love wearing them. They are very, very beautiful and you would love uh, making them and gifting them to your friends and family. So friends, if you like these earrings, my designs and my video, please do subscribe to my channel and please don't forget to press the bell icon so that you may get notified when I'll upload my next video. Thank you.